Hi, I'm Teacher Tom. What's your name? Where are you from? Today, our English lesson will be the first conditional. If it rains, he will get wet. If it rains, he will get wet. So we're using the word if, and we're talking about the future a real possibility in the future. Okay, let's look at that example on the board. If it rains, comma, he will get wet. Okay? If it rains, he will get wet. If it rains, he will get wet. Okay, so we're using the word if. If is like the magic word. We use this word for the conditional, if. Maybe yes. Maybe no, but if this happens, this will happen. That's the first conditional. If and will. If, simple present, will, base verb. Okay, this is the first conditional. This is how we set it up. We use the simple present, will, and the base verb. If It rains, comma, he will get wet. Okay, we're using if, right? Simple present, it rains. Then we're going to use will to talk about the future. Will plus the base verb. So usually we would say he gets, simple present. But because we use will, it's will, base verb. Modal, base verb. He will get wet. Okay. So, what's the condition? The condition, it rains. What's the result? Well, if it rains, he will get wet. He will, right? So, we're talking about the future. We're saying, if this condition happens, then this will happen. It's a very real possibility. It's a very reasonable possibility. Almost for sure, right? If it rains, he will get wet. Okay? We can also make it negative. If it doesn't rain, comma, he won't get wet. Will not. Negative. Won't. Let's look at that example. Or we can combine the two. If he takes an umbrella, he won't get wet. If 
he takes an umbrella, he won't get wet. If he takes an umbrella, he won't get wet. Understand? So we use if with the simple present. Then we use will or won't with the base verb. If she exercises, she will get strong. If she exercises, she will get strong, right? Now, can you make it negative? If she doesn't exercise, she won't get strong. If she doesn't exercise, she won't get strong, right? If she doesn't exercise, she won't get strong. What about you? If you exercise, will you get strong? We can make this a question as well. You can ask your friends or ask your partner a question. If you eat breakfast, will you feel good? If you are in class, or if you have a friend with you, right now you can do a little speaking practice. For example, if it rains or if it snows, will you take the bus? If it rains, will you take the bus? Yes, I will take the bus. Or, no, I won't take the bus. If it snows, will you take your boots? If it rains, will you take me to dinner? If you would like, you can pause the video right now and try the speaking practice. Okay, let's try another example. If he doesn't study, he won't pass. If he doesn't study, simple present, right? In the affirmative, he studies. In the negative, doesn't, base verb, doesn't study. If he studies, if he doesn't study, he won't pass. Won't is a contraction for will not. You could say he will not pass. He won't pass. If he doesn't study, he won't pass. If he doesn't study, he will not pass. He won't pass the test. Now let's make it affirmative. If he studies, simple present, he'll pass. He'll. He'll is a contraction for he will. He'll. She will. She'll. We will. We'll. Right? Remember the contractions? If he studies, he'll pass the test. If he doesn't study, he won't pass the test. And teacher Tom will be very... angry?
I will tell Jim if I see him. Okay, we can also reverse the order. We can start with the results. I will tell Jim if I see him, the condition. So we can start with the result, then if, then the condition. We can change the order and it's still the first conditional. I will tell Jim, no comma, I will tell Jim if I see him. Not if I will see him, no. If I see him, right? Simple present. Remember that, that's important in using correct grammar and sounding like a native English speaker or a fluent English speaker. I will tell Jim if I see him. Understand? We are only using will in the result, not in the condition, right? Will is not simple present. Okay, understand? We can start with the result. I will tell Jim, right? Future. If, maybe yes, maybe no. If I see him, simple present. The condition is in the simple present. No will. Will is here in the result. I will tell Jim if I see him. Okay, get it? You can start with if, condition, then result, or result, if, condition. Both are correct. In the first example, we use a comma. If we start with if, we use a comma. If if is in the middle of the sentence, no comma, right? So no comma here. I will tell Jim, no comma, if I see him. Okay, before we take a little quiz on the first conditional, let's summarize. The first conditional uses if, with the simple present and then uses will and the base verb. The first conditional talks about the future, a real possibility in the future. If this condition, this will happen. Or if this condition, this won't happen. Or if not this condition, this will or won't happen, right? If teacher Tom posts more videos, I will learn English faster, okay? Now, let's take a little grammar quiz on the first conditional. Let's see how many you can get 100% correct. There are three practice questions. You can pause the video for each one if you need more time. Okay, ready for number one? If she... Simple present gets paid, she'll, she will, she'll, base verb, go. If she gets paid, she'll go on vacation. If she gets paid, she'll go on vacation.
All right, number two, let's try it. If the cat, simple present, if the cat eats too much, he will be, base verb, lazy. If the cat eats too much, he will be lazy. Is that true? Okay, number three. Did you get it? Sam won't sing, simple present, right? Sam won't sing, base verb. Sam won't sing if she, simple present, doesn't. Sam won't sing if she doesn't like the song. Sam won't sing if she doesn't like the song. Okay? In the last example, number three, we put the result first then if, then the condition. No comma in this one. Sam won't sing if she doesn't like the song. Understand? All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Good class today with the first conditional. More Teacher Tom videos are coming. I appreciate you. Thank you for learning and teaching English with me. If you like these videos and they're helpful, Please share the links to these videos on your social media. All right, I'll see you next time.